Harvey Dent never made it home. Of course not. What have you done with him? Me? I was right here. Who did you leave him with? Hmm? Your people? Assuming, of course, that they are still your people and not Maroney's. Does it depress you, Commissioner, to know just how alone you really are? Does it make you feel responsible for Harvey Dent's current predicament? Where is he? What's the time? What difference does that make? Well, depending on the time, he may be in one spot or several. If we're going to play games, mm. I'm going to need a cup of coffee. Ah, the good cop, bad cop routine? Not exactly. start with the head. The victim gets all fuzzy. He can't feel the neck. See? You wanted me. Here I am. I wanted to see what you'd do. And you didn't disappoint. You let five people die. Then, you let Dent take your place. Even to a guy like me, that's cold. Where's Dent? Those mob fools want you gone so they can get back to the way things were. But I know the truth. There's no going back. You've changed things. Forever. And why do you want to kill me? <laughs> I, don't, I don't want to kill you. What would I do without you? Go back to ripping off mob dealers? No, no. No. No, you. You complete. Me. You're garbage. You kills for money. Don't talk like one of them. You're not. Even if you'd like to be. To them, you're just a freak. Like me. They need you right now. But when they don't, they'll cast you out. Like a leper. See, their morals, their code, it's a bad joke. We've dropped first sign of trouble. They're only as good as the world allows them to be. I'll show you. When the chips are down, these, uh, these civilized people, they'll eat each other. See, I'm not a monster. I'm just ahead of the curve. Where's Dent? You have all these rules, and you think they'll save you. In control. I have one rule. Oh, then that's the rule you'll have to break to know the truth. Which is? The only sensible way to live in this world is without rules. And tonight you're gonna break your one rule. I'm considering it. No, there's only minutes left. You're gonna have to play my little game if you want to save one of them. Yeah. You know, for a while there, I thought you really were a dent. The way you threw yourself after her. <laughs> Look at you go! What does Harvey know about you and his little bunny? Where are they? Killing is making a choice. Where are they? Choose between one life or the other. Your friend, the district attorney, or his blushing bride to be. Me with. Nothing to do with all of your strength. Don't worry. I'm gonna tell you where they are. Both of them. What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Rashad back with another video. Now in this video, I'm be explaining to you why you dodged a bullet when that girl curved you for not having enough edge or being born. Now here's why I tell you guys who are on your self-improvement journey, especially as young brothers. We got to avoid a lot of women, bro. You know, we got to we got to avoid serious, you know, 
relationships with women while we're on our path, while we're on our journey of self-improvement, because they're just there to be a distraction. You know, I was watching, uh, damn, I forget that guy's name, but it was this one guy, he has like a girlfriend and shit, and um, he went on a 30-day um, semen retention challenge just for an experiment or whatever for his channel. He does a lot of like 30-day challenges. He did like a 30-day no-fab challenge, shit like that. Like, you know, he's basically just clouding off all these things, you know, and you know, good for him, whatever, whatever, right? And he asked his girl, did you think I'll make it a full 30 days on this semen retention? And she doubted him. She said no. You know, she thought he would fold, you know? Um, and he, he actually had to fly out and get away from his girl, you know, because she would tempt him to fold, you know? She knows he's trying to go 30 days. She knows he's trying to stay focused and be on retention. But she's still going to try to tempt him because it's something in the female that wants to go after what they're not supposed to have. They're, they're always going to seek, you know, the, 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 you know, the dark side of things. You know, they're always going to try to make things a little dark, especially these modern females. Right. They're fueled by that. So you got to understand you dodged the bullet. You know, you just avoided somebody else's problem when she says you're born or oh, you're handsome. But uh He's just too boring, you know, he's, 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 I don't know, he doesn't have enough edge to him. What does she mean by that, you know? Some of you may, some of you who may have had that happen to you, you may wonder, what does she mean? I may not have a lot of edge. And us brothers, you know, this comes a lot from, uh, you know, uh, you know, black woman, you know what I'm saying? They, they need a guy with edge. Basically what they're saying is he's not thuggish enough. You know, you're not thuggish enough. Because of the programming and because of the trauma, our women, they, they look for, um, you know, guys to fix, you know. Um, they love fixing guys. If you ever watch the show You, um, pay attention to love. Love, her love language was guys that she felt needed fixing um, because that gave her a chase, you know. When, when there was something about you that she wanted to figure out. See, these women, they need a chase, you know. They, they need that feeling of a chase. They need that feeling of a, you know, tug of war. They need that tug of war feeling, you know. They need you to fight, and they need to be able to fight for, you know, your attention and your feelings and to figure you out and this and that, you know. And when you're just a straightforward guy, you're just straightforward about what you're doing, you're on your, your purpose, you just focus, you just locked in, you just need someone, you, you just need her by your side to support you. You know, someone you can go out with every once in a while when you got some free time. She ain't trying to hear that, bro. You too focused. You too disciplined for her. And that's okay, bro. That is just a sign from the most high that you need to focus on your path and not a woman. And it should be a good sign that you still, you know, you still get their attention. You know, that means you're not, you're not far gone. You can still attract them. But they just get with you and they see you're on a completely different path. They see you're not trying to go out and party all the time. They see you're not trying to be around all her ratchet ass friends. They see you just trying to be low key with her. And she don't want that. You know, she needs the attention. She needs that chase. She needs to have all these stories to run and tell her girlfriends about. And if you don't give that to her and she's been around other guys that do, something's going to feel like it's missing when she's with you. And she's going to be thinking about all these other guys and all these other feelings that she was getting from other guys that you aren't giving her. Typically, when you come across a girl who says you're too boring, that's a girl who's been around the block. You know, I'll, I'll just break it to you. And you just, you just dodge the bullet, bro. That's all that is. All that should tell you is to continue to focus on yourself until you attract a girl that, that, that finds it sexy how focused you are. Because there are women out there like that. Who find how focused you are sexy. Who find how committed you are to your journey sexy. Who find that, you know, you're not easily lured in by pussy sexy. And there's other women that don't. Other women, they, they need you to be a whore. They need you to be weak. They need your eyes to be wandering so she could be assuming you're cheating. And she could play all these mind games and, and shit like that, you know? But when you're straightforward and you're not really hiding nothing... All the fun is taken away. See, these women need fun. If you watch the show You, the TV series You on on uh, on Netflix, that, that will tell you a lot about the modern day woman. You know, past, you know, Joe being this crazy ass sociopath, you know, pay attention to the interactions with the women, you know, even love in one of the scenes. She was talking to her brother, 40, and she was like, am I self-sabotaging again? 
These women know what they be doing. They know they be self-sabotaging good guys. She knew Joe was a quote-unquote good guy. She, she started to feel unworthy. Because it's in her nature to push that good guy away because she she needs that toxic guy. Remember what I was telling you guys about the minus and the minus, the plus and the plus? A positive person needs a positive person. A negative person needs a negative person. Even, and even if a negative person is trying to act like they're positive, eventually their true cards is going to show. Eventually things just ain't going to work. Eventually things just ain't work between Joe and love. Right? Because and, and really, it's kind of complex when they and, and, and this is another download you got to pick up from from that series. Joe tried to change. See, when Joe met love, he was more of a negative trying to become a positive. You know what I'm saying? <coughs> and, uh, you know, having a son and shit like that, he really wanted to change his ways. He started to change from his wild nature that attracted her to a more calm, laid back nature, you know? And, um, you know, it, it, that show shows you a lot of dynamics with relationships and things like that and why people be growing unhappy. And it also showed me why abstinence needs to be in relationships. See, they sex. By, by, by the end of season three, things started getting real weird. I mean, they was having, uh, you know, or damn near orgies, foursomes and shit, a whole lot of like weird, like fluid shit started getting thrown in at the end. I was like, ah. So you guys got to add in the programming at the end. You guys got to add in the open relationship program. And remember what I be telling you guys about these open relationships. But when I speak about these open relationships, they're not they're, they're going to be way more darker than you guys think. And it's already happening to this day, but they're hiding it. But they're going through the process of prepping people to make it normal. Soon pedophilia will be normal. Soon open relationships will be normal. All these weird things that shouldn't be normal, that shouldn't be allowed will be normal very soon. You know, they just have to slowly program the people. I mean, think about it. 30 years ago, gay on gay marriage was looked at as this crazy thing. Now it's normal, right? Now it's normal. Today, pedophilia is looked at as a disgusting, crazy thing. Bro, I'm telling you, they're going about normalizing that because they're gods. They don't believe in age. They don't believe in all these things. They don't believe in genders. They just believe in spirits. So they believe there's nothing wrong with having sex with a little kid because that kid is not a kid. That kid is a spirit to them, right? So it, it's not even pedophilia to them. It's just, you know, whatever, right? They're slowly going about indoctrinizing you into the Baphomet, the God they serve, the devil. You know what I'm saying? Um, but back to the point. When a girl says you have no edge, that just means nine times out of ten, she sees that she can't manipulate you. Nine times out of ten, you're probably on a good path and you're probably on a path be, um, towards becoming a good man. You know what I'm saying? And she not ready for that right now. And that's okay. Don't get bitter. Get happy. Be happy that the Most High removed her from your life. The Most High will remove females from your life. You would get hit with that, oh, he's boring. He don't got enough edge. Oh, I don't know. This and that. Right? And you, and you, here's how it could mind fuck you. Here's how it could mind fuck you. You're on your purpose. You're on your grind. You reading. You working out. You drinking your water. You, you, you working on your hygiene, your diet, your appearance, all those things. All that self-improvement shit. You know? And you feel like you're doing everything right. And then this female tells you you're too boring. Everything is way too routine. You don't have enough edge, you know? Basically, you're not thuggish enough, you know? You, you, you're not going to go back and forth and argue with her, you know? She needs that. These females need that back and forth. They don't like constructive conversations. They don't like when, when you just want her to calm down and just listen and we just talk things through. They don't want to just talk things through like that. They want to argue so, they can, so you can have that toxic sex, you know? That makeup sex. That's what they want. That's what they're fueled off of, that toxicity. And it all comes from how they were raised, you know? Nine times out of ten, if you come across one of these females that hit you with the O, oh, you don't have enough edge, you too born. And a lot of times, especially for so-called black brothers, it will come from our sisters. And then they will get mad when brothers who are, you know, getting hit with the O, oh, we don't have enough edge, we don't have enough this, we too born. We start dating other demographics of females, maybe a white girl, maybe a Mexican, maybe an Indian, whatever, that was raised a little differently and they're looking at us completely different from how our women look at us. They don't see us as a guy who has no edge. They actually see us as a guy who has a lot of edge, as a guy who's bold. Because in a society where everybody's trying to fit in, we're fitting out, you know, and that attracts them to us. See, you got to be bold, right? If, if, if you don't have courage, if you're not bold, 
then you gonna want then you gonna you gonna want to fit in right and when you get hit with that you don't have enough edge now you're gonna become one of these guys one of these john morant ass niggas trying to be something you're not trying to portray this thug image so you can come across as a nigga with edge and, and you can get the validation of all these low-level ass bitches right don't get caught up in all that bro there's a woman out there who is gonna value all your solid traits bro you know, you just got to continue to focus on yourself and build your empire. I promise you, bro. I promise you they out there. I promise you they out there. What destroys a man is their energy, bro. You know, women, they pick up on your energy. So if you walking around with a, with a defeated energy, if you walking around with a defeated energy, ain't no woman going to want you, bro. Even if she likes you, she, she going to feel your energy and she going to be like, damn, he, I just can't be around that. Don't nobody want to be around no defeated ass, depressed ass person. But some people actually do, you know, defeated ass, depressed people too. Like I said, negatives attract negatives. When people see you're vulnerable, then that attracts them to you because now they're like, all right, this is someone who I could potentially have some sort of power, some sort of manipulation power over, right? But like I said, there's plenty of fish in the sea. Everybody's going to end up where they're supposed to be. Toxic people going to end up with toxic people. Positive people going to end up with positive people. And that's just how it's going to be. And, and then the have-nots are just not going to have. You know, that's how these times are going to go, bro. You know? Um, and, 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 and you just got to find your way. You know? You got to find where you fit in with all that, bro. You know? But don't get discouraged, bro. Don't let these low-level-ass women try to uh, sway your confidence. They see you super confident. And, and they don't want to call you corny. Or, 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 or just lame. Or just whatever. Because... You know, you ain't trying to do all these low level ass things. You see that shit as a waste of time, you know. So and, and instead of just accepting you for being different, they got to shame you because you make you you make them feel insecure about their life choices and about how they live in their life. You make them feel insecure. See, really what happens, really what happens, bro, when a female hits you with that, you don't got enough edge shit. Really what happens is she's insecure. She gets around you and she starts feeling insecure because you hold yourself to a high standard. You know, you hold yourself accountable. And from holding yourself accountable, you're going to eventually hold her accountable. And she don't want that. Females don't want a real man that's going to hold you accountable and try to lead you. You know, now all of a sudden you a narcissist. Now all of a sudden you this and you that. And this narcissist shit is the dumbest shit ever. I've been watching like a lot of videos on like psychology and shit, bro. And a lot of this shit is really just to target the chosen ones, our mindset, our 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 natural confidence. You know, that, that's really what they're pecking away with. Or oh, you have this this feeling of superiority. Everybody should, should have a feeling of, like you to shit, bro. You know, everybody should have that feeling of confidence, bro. It's, it's nothing wrong with that. Nowadays, they're trying to shame you for, for being confident. That's ridiculous. Never let anybody shame you for being confident, bro. That's just a sign of an insecure person that's missing something spiritually. And you have that spiritually that gives you confidence and they envy that, you know, they envy that. And they're going to want to take that away from you. Don't allow them to. Don't allow them to. But yeah, man, just a quick video, bro. Uh, when a female tells you that you're born, you don't got enough edge, you know, some of you niggas may actually be born. I ain't going to cap. You know what I mean? I ain't gonna cap. But me, I'm not born, nigga. Me, I know I got edge, nigga. You know, but it's just a different type of edge. You know, it's not the edge to where I'm gonna go game bang and do all this stupid shit. Or I'm gonna go scam. Or I'm gonna go, you know what I'm saying? It's a different type of edge. You know what I'm saying? It's the type of edge to where, I don't know, man. It's just a different <laughs> It's just a different type of edge, bro. You know, but I do have an edge about me, but. I'm not, I don't portray no thug image, and I don't want to be a thug, you know, I don't want to portray a thug, you know, that's the image that they want to paint of the black man, you know, all we're portrayed in, one of the most popular films on goddamn HBO is, is, uh, you know, uh, what, what is that, power, you know, and all this is about is about niggas selling drugs, and going to jail, and killing each other, and we glorifying this, this is what our people glorify, this is what our people is calling, you know, black excellence, a show that y'all y'all think just because it's a show full of niggas is black excellence. That's how so simple minded you niggas are. Just because it's a show full of niggas, this must be black excellence, right? But the but the whole theme of the show was selling drugs and, and all this low level shit. But this is black excellence because all these black niggas got an opportunity. Old master gave the black man an opportunity. This is black excellence. We moving the needle. 
you dumbass niggas. We ain't moving no damn needle. All that's doing is destroying the people even more. All that's doing is making the young man that's growing up and watching that and the young female that's growing up and watching that. Now the young female, she gonna want a thug. Now the young boy, he gonna want to be a thug because he knows that the young female's gonna want a thug and the young boy is always gonna want a girl. He's always gonna want the girl. And these young boys are being taught to worship the woman, to worship their mother. You know, it's it's the, the patriarchal aspect of the household is being taken away, right? So these boys would do anything for the validation of women. So these boys are going to watch very closely, and these boys are going to be easily programmed, you know? The next generation, man, you're going to have to really do some real parenting with them niggas, bro. You know what I'm saying? Or else they just going to grow up, man. And, you know, they... they, they <laughs> Shit just gonna get worse and worse until this whole place is destroyed, you know? Um, but yeah, bro, that's basically what I wanted to say, bro. Don't get discouraged by that shit, bro. Uh, all it means when a female says you're too born or you don't have enough edge is she's basically saying you're on a path that she's not ready for right now. She's young. She's trying to be wild. She's trying to be loose. And, you know, you're young and you're trying to be focused and you're trying to get things in order and you're trying to get better she she's not worried about that she's just worried about living life getting experiences doing things going places you know so just understand that bro that's why i tell y'all when you're on your path for self-improvement you're gonna have to eliminate a lot of females a lot of females you know are gonna be more distractions than anything watch the show you watch the show you Watch that 30-day challenge. You guys probably know the guy. I think it's like Jesse Jones, some shit like that. You know, he does like vlogs and shit, workout vlogs. A white guy, super strong and shit. You know what I'm saying? He did a 30-day semen retention challenge, you know? And his 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 biggest... Ignore my fucking nose. I got like boogers and shit. My bad. <clears throat> Whatever. But... um, You know, um, during that whole 30-day semen retention challenge, his main issue his main uh not his main i wouldn't say his main issue but one of the things making it hard for him was his girl you know his girl ain't just want to be, be like all right you trying to go 30 days i'm gonna just be here to support you going those 30 days she wanted to be there to be the reason why he folded going those 30 days you know what i'm saying and, and that's and that's okay that's just the nature of the woman he didn't take it personal and, and and that shows that he's in a good mindset as a as a man you know what i'm saying he knows the position of his female you know so he ain't take it personal certain certain dudes will get butt hurt about shit like that but that should show the average dude that when you on your journey bro these females one they gonna doubt it they gonna doubt what you're trying to do and and, and when you on this journey it can get vulnerable sometimes and and it can get doubtful and you need, you know, people who are going to reaffirm you. And if that female isn't reaffirming you, she got to go. You know, she got to go. She could be a good female. But with, with, with the time you in in your life and where you're trying to go with your life right now, she's not helping that. You know, so she's not useful right now. You know, she's not of the best use for you right now. Maybe if you met her five years down the line when you had things more in order, you know, maybe things would have been a little better. But things aren't really in order. You have a lot of things that you need to work on, you know. And that you're working on. So you don't, you don't need too many distractions right now. Some of us, we don't need any. In terms of the female, we don't need any. You know? Because, bro, nine times out of ten, you're around... Even even if you're on just a platonic level with a female, quote-unquote, she's just your friend while you're on pretension. She gonna want to go out. She gonna want to do things. She gonna want, she's, she's gonna make you spend money, bro. You're gonna end up spending money around this platonic female. Because that's what ends up happening when females keep platonic males around, you know? Either you're going to be bringing something financially or something emotionally, meaning you're going to be that guy who she can go to and tell all her problems to and give no coochie to, you know, um, the bestie, quote unquote, the, the position that I feel a real man would never play. You know, certain guys who, who you know, it's, it's, it's ladies, men out here who, who just got certain females who they just cool with and shit like that. I'm not talking about y'all, bro. If the shoe fits where I'm talking about the simps, bro. I'm talking about the simps who are holding on to that female that sees nothing in you, you know, that looks at you like a complete joke, you know, never have a female around you like that, but I'm gonna go ahead and end the video, bro, don't get discouraged when, you know, these females, they come and, you know, not these females, when certain females come and they tell you you have no edge, you know, you handsome, you this, you that, but you too boring, you too nice, you too whatever, you know, don't, 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 don't let them get in your head, bro. Don't let them try to try to force you down a negative path, you know? 
Because basically all they're saying is you're not demented enough, you know? You're not negative enough, you know? That's all they're saying. I can't, I can't manipulate you. My astrology um, magic isn't working on you. You're too strong spiritually. I need a weak. I need someone more weak spiritually who I can control. You know, that's all that means. I'm gonna go ahead and get up out of here, man. Y'all be smooth.